Tonight, there's concern at one polling place in James City County. Voters will head to Matoka Elementary School tomorrow to cast their ballots. But recently, three people there tested positive for coronavirus. Nico Clemens found out what school officials are doing to make sure voters are safe. Coronavirus concerns at Matoka Elementary School in James City County, which is also a polling location for tomorrow's election. Three staff members connected to the school recently tested positive for COVID-19, the latest this past Thursday. One woman wrote on Facebook, if Matoka was shut down for two weeks, is it still being used as a polling place on Tuesday? James City County's General Registrar, Diana Mormon, says the school is open and ready for the election. I think it's actually smart to be nervous. I think you should stay protected, make sure you wear your mask, uh, keep distance from people. Mormon says she has talked with school administration about Tuesday and is confident the school has properly sanitized the inside. She says volunteers will have personal protective equipment available. A school spokeswoman says custodial teams will clean and disinfect every school building again tonight. Theodore Annunziato just graduated from William and Mary and will vote tomorrow. He says with COVID-19 still out there, there's always that fear. So I wouldn't be scared to the point where I wouldn't go, um, but scared to the point where I would try to protect myself. So what does this mean for students and teachers? Well, right now, they've transitioned back to remote learning. The school spokeswoman says students will learn virtually five days a week until November 16th. She adds the transition to remote learning allows time for the Peninsula Health District to complete contact tracing. As long as you're careful, I think you can be safe. Voters continuing to take extra precautions as COVID-19 remains a concern hours before the election. In James City County, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now. Remember to double check your polling place before tomorrow. In Chesapeake, leaders moved two polling stations last week. Voters at St. Mary's Catholic Church should go to Sunray Community Center instead. And people who vote at First Norfolk Church should go to Greenbrier Primary School. No matter where you live, you can find your polling place on the state's website.